instances of crazy matches all over the world. However, Turkey recently just had one of the wildest games I've probably seen, and if I had to say, it's probably the wildest match this season, period. Unfortunately, it wasn't because of crazy goals and great football being played, but instead of what happened directly after the match. But before we get into that, let me give you a quick review of what led up to this point. It's the 30th match day in the Turkish Super League, and Galatasaray and Fenerbahce are in very tight title race. With both of the teams dominating their league, the point difference from 2nd to 3rd is massive. Fenerbahce is currently chasing their 20th league title and their first one since 2014. Galatasaray steal a win from Kasem Pasha in the 90th minute when Vinicius scores. This puts all eyes onto the match between Trabzon and Fener. This match is played in Trabzon and you already know the atmosphere is very heated. Although an outsider may look at this game as not that important for Trabzon due to the point difference, they don't see it like that. This is because these two are heated rivals due to an alleged match fixing scandal in the 2011 season where Fener won the title on goal difference. However, Trabzon accused Fenerbahce of cheating and fixing matches. I'm not here to tell you who is in the right or wrong, because that is a whole nother discussion for a whole nother video. However, this has certainly caused Trabzon to have hatred for the Istanbul side. Earlier in the season, Trabzon Sport beat Fener in Istanbul 3-2. That match was very controversial as well, with many penalties being called and goals being disallowed. Trabzon's official social media pages were once again accusing referees to have a blind eye against their opponents, and they saw this match as an opportunity to crush Fener's title hopes, as they are currently trailing two points behind league leaders Galatasaray. But let's get past that because the football in this match was actually kind of exciting. It started off early when Fred, yes that Fred that played for Manchester United, scored an absolute screamer outside of the box to get Fener the early lead. Then he doubled it right before halftime, and just a quick side note, just look at all the bottles and things being thrown, I mean some object, I think it may have been a lighter, actually hit Fenerbahce's manager and he had to quickly get treatment in the form of ice packs. However, thankfully he turned out okay and was able to manage the rest of the match. Even though they were down 2-0 at halftime, Trabzon didn't give up. An excellent set piece from Ennis Barty curled into the top left corner and then a little later on they were able to get a penalty which Trezeguet converted which set the fans on fire. But unfortunately for them, Michi Batshuayi got the last laugh as he scored in the 87th minute and of course in typical Turkish league fashion there was a 10 minutes of added time. However Fenerbahce still held on to the lead, winning 3-2. And just like any other team would, they decided to celebrate the match win by heading into the middle of the field, congratulating each other on an important win in the title race. But what they didn't know is that this is what would set the stadium on fire. Trabzon supporters ran onto the field and started attacking Fenerbahce players like Fenerbahce's goalie Livakovic was sucker punched while trying to run into the dressing room. The security didn't do their job at all. And some of Fenerbahce's players even had to take it into their own hands, such as Michi Batshuayi, who hit a crazy roundhouse kick on someone that was sprinting towards him, and defender Osai Samuel beating up someone who literally tried to square up with him. I mean, just look at this picture. It looks like it's out of a video game. A guy with a clown mask tries to fight a professional footballer. As more and more fans stormed in, it was clear that Fenerbahce players were in big danger and needed to get out of the pitch immediately. Some of them sprinted towards the dressing room, and some of them unfortunately got hit on the way there. One person was even chased by a fan who had gotten the corner flag. Although luckily he wasn't able to use it, and no one has been reported seriously injured although some punches and kicks did land. I'm very interested as into what the Turkish FA will decide the punishment for everyone will be. Due to the situation, but I doubt anything big will happen because earlier in the season, Ankara Guja's club president punched a referee and no points deduction was given, along with another incident and another team's club president, Istanbul Spor, marched onto the field and demanded the game to be stopped because his team didn't receive a penalty. All they got for this wild act was a fine and a 3 point deduction. And just like I've stated in previous videos, due to those actions going basically unpunished, every supporter and club president basically feels invincible. So I predict the Trabzon punishment will be for all players to run a mile in under an hour or something along those lines. Honestly, I'm just glad that no one is seriously hurt, and although it is unfair for Fenerbahce players, I expect some of them to be banned as this is usual protocol. Even though some players were acting in self-defense, fighting a pitch invader is not allowed. And this means that inevitably, some of Fenerbahce's players will miss games in a tight title race, which would just leave a sour taste for many people. 
It's clear that Turkish football clearly needs big reforms because big acts like this go basically unpunished. And I can guarantee in the future that more stuff like this will be happening unless teams get punished severely for their actions. But the story doesn't end there. The day after Fenerbahce's club president, Ali Koç, would attend a press conference and state that Fenerbahce is thinking about withdrawing from the league. Look, I doubt this will actually happen, but this isn't the first time the businessman had said something like this. It would actually be the fourth time he's threatening to leave the Super League. The reason that would be detrimental is because the, in the past five years, Fenerbahce has earned a lot of coefficient points. So if they were to withdraw, Turkey's UEFA ranking would go from being in the top 10 to all the way down to 19th, meaning that leagues like Denmark and Ukraine would have better European spots. This whole situation is wild, but for people inside of Turkey, this isn't anything new. And it isn't even the first time a stadium has been invaded by fans. I remember around 10 years ago, Besiktas fans would invade the stadium in a match against Galatasaray using chairs as their main weapon of attack. But what bans do you think should be given? Make sure to like and subscribe.